Okay, hello everybody. I'm going to teach you today how to solve for this double integral and we're going to start right now. So what's going on? My name is Muhammad. Welcome to another video. If this is your first time here and you want to know more about how to solve brain teasers, riddles, logic puzzles, viral math problems, and all type of mathematics related stuff, then start now by subscribing and clicking the bell so you don't miss anything. Okay, so the problem is to try to solve for this double integral here. So I'll give you some time to think about it. So what you do, pause this video, give this problem a try, and when you're ready, keep watching this video for a solution. Okay, to solve for this double integral, the idea is to compare it to the convolution integral and then compare it to the inverse Fourier transformation integral. So we'll do that. So I will start by uh, letting uh, x capital of omega equals uh, 2a over a squared plus omega squared. So now if you look at this term here, it's nothing but x of lambda, okay? So we just replaced lambda, omega here by lambda. So this is x of lambda. If we compare this to this term here, it's uh, this term here is going to be x of omega minus lambda, okay? So we can rewrite the same integral in a different way, okay? And I call the I will call the integral i. So i is going to be equal to one over two pi, the double integral from minus infinity to infinity, okay? This is going to be x of lambda, and the second term is going to be equal to x of omega minus lambda, and then d lambda d omega, okay? So now if, let me highlight the inner integral, if we look at this this integral here, okay, if we look at the inner integral, it is nothing but the convolution integral, we have a function that is fixed and expressed in lambda, okay, which is this one, and we have another function here that is uh, expressed in omega minus lambda, which is uh, first of all, it is expressed in lambda and then time reverse and then shifted by omega. So this not, this th this term here, the inner integral is nothing but the convolution integral. Okay. So this is going. So we can rewrite this as one over two pi the integral from minus infinity to infinity, and this whole thing is going to be equal to x of omega convolved with x capital of omega, and then we have d omega. Okay. So now we have a function of omega because the convolution of x of omega and x of omega is going to give us another function. And let's call that uh, g of omega. If this is g of omega, okay. <clears throat> so let x capital of omega convolved with x capital of omega equals g of omega. So the uh, uh, this integral is going to be rewritten as i is going to be equal to 1 over 2 pi the integral from minus infinity to infinity g of omega d omega now if you compare this integral here to the inverse Fourier transformation integral it is it looks like the inverse uh, Fourier transformation except that we there is a, a missing exponential e to j omega t is missing okay and it is missing because it is evaluated at t equals 0. So we can rewrite this as the following 1 over 2 pi the integral from minus infinity to infinity g of omega multiplied by a positive complex exponential d omega but this is only evaluated at t equals 0. Okay? So now okay so now this looks exactly as the inverse Fourier transformation, the definition of the inverse Fourier transformation. So this is going to be equal to g of t evaluated at t equals zero. So it's nothing but g of zero. So this is the solution of our integral. Now, how to find g of zero? To find g of uh, g of zero, we have to find 
To find g of 0, we have to find g of t. And g of t is nothing but the inverse Fourier transformation of uh, g of t is, is the inverse Fourier transformation of g of omega. Okay? So, so to find g of t, okay, so let's start with uh, g of omega. g of omega is equal to x of omega convolved with x of omega. So g of t is going to be equal to, uh, let me remind you of the convolution of the convolution uh, uh, property. If we have uh, two functions in time that are multiplied with each other, x1 of t and x2 of t, then the Fourier transformation of that is going to be equal to 1 over 2 pi x1 of omega convolved with x2 of omega. Okay, so multiplication is transformed into uh, convolution and the frequency domain. Okay, so now if uh, we replace x1 of t by x of t, okay, and this is also by x of t, okay, then this is going to be equal to, uh, th this is going to be transformed to 1 over 2 pi x of omega convolved with x of omega. Okay, and because of the transformation is a linear operation, so we can multiply both sides here with with 2 pi, okay, or by 2 pi. So this is going to give us that x of omega convolved with x of omega is uh, in the time domain is going to be equal to uh, 2 pi x of t x squared of t. Okay, okay. So now this is so if so this is g of omega so this is going to be equal to g of t okay so from here we can conclude that g of t is okay so g of t is going to be equal to 2 pi x squared of t okay so now to find g of t we have to find x of t okay and to find x of t let's go back to the definition of x of omega to the first uh, thing that we assumed that x of omega is going is equal to uh, 2a over a squared plus omega squared if we do an inverse Fourier transformation to that then that's going to give us x of t x of t is going to be equal to and uh, this we can get it from tables or we can uh, apply the um, in, uh, the inverse Fourier transformation uh, to find uh, to find the inverse Fourier transformation of this expression it's going to be equal to uh, e to the power minus a absolute t okay so our integral is going to be nothing but i equals to uh, g of 0 and that's going to be equal to 2 pi x squared of 0 and that's going to be equal to 2 pi x squared of 0 is e to the power 0 and that's 1 so the uh, the whole, the uh, final solution is going to be equal to 2 pi and that's the solution well thank you for watching if you like this video don't forget to subscribe and click the bell so you don't miss anything in the future if you have another way to solve for this double integral then leave it down here in the comments below to help other people that might watch this video thank you for watching and see you in another video